Hi, so I wanted to show you some shoulder stretches and this can be done just if you do a lot of sitting at the desk or you're just feeling particularly tight across here, the shoulders, and you just need to loosen off. Um, also great if you're doing one of my challenges, just especially when we're sort of working a lot in the upper body. So um, this is quite an effective way using a wall to stretch out the shoulders in a, in a kind of yin-like way, I suppose, because you are holding the postures for a period of time and allowing those deeper sort of connective tissues to release. So it's a bit deeper than just muscular and they can be quite strong. So you really need to listen to your body and know the difference and find that balance between what feels good and what feels like a strong stretch. Um, or sorry, should I say not a good and strong stretch, a strong stretch that feels good and going too far. We never want any sort of um, sharp pains, never want to overstretch basically. So the first one that we're going to do, um, we're going to stand sideways to the wall, is so we're going to come maybe sort of a couple of uh, feet uh, width away from the wall and first of all take your right arm up onto the wall as if you're coming up to a clock at 12 o'clock. Spreading the fingers and just placing the hand onto the wall. So you are away from the wall. The idea is to keep the front body facing forward so we don't want to be turning in towards the wall. If we are, then we've come probably a bit too close and we step away. And we want to find that sort of position where the arm, you can feel a stretch, but we're not, like I said, turning towards the wall. We're facing um, the opposite direction. Okay, so once we've found that position that feels comfortable for the arm, and this can be really quite far away depending on the mobility in your shoulders. And if you're working with any rotator cuff issues, I'd probably recommend that you just take this really gently and maybe not hold it as long. So coming back to that point that feels good. And let's really sort of root down into those feet, get a good posture here. So like I said, body facing this way, pressing into the balls of the feet, feeling the whole surface of the feet secure into the mat. So as you press into the balls of the feet, your arches should sort of, Maybe just lift a little, activate, feel that activation all the way up, kneecaps lifting, and then draw the pelvis forward. Belly draws back, lift and lengthen, a little bit of an opening into the shoulders, and then we just stand here, either hands onto hips or the left arm can be down by the side. Just breathing, and probably what I would recommend is doing this for, say, a, a count of about 10 breaths, or time it or feel into it as what feels appropriate for you. And once you've done your 10 breaths, holding the arm up here, we're then looking to move on. I'm not just going to hold for the 10 breaths, but we've probably been holding for a period of time now, so I'm going to just call that. We're going to walk our hand back to about sort of maybe one or two o'clock. Now, this is the point in which the body's probably more likely to start to turn in towards the wall. So that's where, depending on the mobility in your shoulders and how tight they are, you might want to walk a little bit further away so the body can face forward and not towards or turning towards the wall. Come back to that posture, pressing into the feet, kneecaps lifting, pelvis drawing forward, belly drawing back, lift and lengthen into the spine, relax the shoulders if you can. Spreading those fingers that are in the wall, and again, like I said, one o'clock or two o'clock, whatever works for you. But we're just gonna do three stages. We're gonna do 12, either one or two o'clock, and again, five, uh, sorry, 10 breaths here, should I say. Just letting it open its own time. Now you might feel lots of different sensations here. It's quite a deep stretch, so you might feel it in your fingers, you might get pins and needles, you might get a warmth or coolness, but never feeling any sharpness, anything electrical or anything that doesn't feel good in your body. Only you can know that. So never force or never overstretch the body. So taking those 10 breaths, and let's say we've done those 10 breaths now, so if you're still continuing, then carry on here. And then we're going to start to continue that movement behind. So coming to about three o'clock. Now that might not work for your shoulders. And if it doesn't, then we just leave that and maybe come back to your version of two, uh, three o'clock, which might actually be two. So as the shoulders start to open, as we come out and behind us, then we might find a little bit deeper. If we can come back to three o'clock, then that's great. But there's no, you know, sort of no, no prizes for getting to three o'clock. <laughs> So again, we just sort of adjust the body whether we want to, if it's opening, come a little bit closer in, or maybe walking the feet away, pressing into the earth, getting that alignment all the way up through the body, core engaged, but relax the shoulders and relax the head as much as you can.
keep the arms straight as much as you can but if there's a little bend into the elbow because that helps ease off the stretch then that's fine it's quite a deep stretch so like i said don't really hold for any more than 10 breaths you might want to do it for a count of three it's entirely up to you and then once you've got to that 10 we're going to simply just let go of the arm and let it flop down so just let it hang maybe close the eyes take a moment just to turn that attention inwards as we feel into the sensations and observe what that right arm feels like in comparison to the left probably warm maybe a flush of blood and energy moving through and maybe even pins and needles through that right arm now but thinking about the sort of opening in the front of the chest it probably feels quite open maybe a little bit warm around the shoulder and then let's take a couple of shoulder rolls, just feeling in again to the difference on the left and the right. Okay, and let's just come to a slightly wider than hip width stance, toes facing out, softness into the knees, and we're just going to sway the arms from side to side. Just a little bit of movement in between. Okay, and then coming over to the other side. So when we come to the other side, I'm not necessarily going to spend as long talking through each stage, but I'll just remind you of what we're doing. But it's really more to come to the other side, take the arm up, and then realise the difference. One side will always be more open, more flexible, and another will be much tighter. And you might have some injuries or some things that you're working with on one of the shoulders. So respect the body and really listen to it. So here, again, you might find that you're much more open. It feels really comfortable to lift the arm up and over. Or you might find it's a lot tighter and you have to come a lot further away from the wall. But just find that position that works for you. And if it doesn't work at all, then just move the arm to a position that you can maintain. Ideally, we want to kind of come to the same count of breath. So don't push it too far the first time you do this exercise. But again, either a count of 10, maybe three, then we walk the fingers back, finding that one or two o'clock. It might be that one o'clock is where we need to go to to open up the body. I'm going to walk away a little bit because I'm finding that my body is starting to turn in slightly tighter on this side. Relaxing the opposite shoulder, focusing on your breath, and then press into the feet. Pelvis drawing forward, belly drawing back, length and space in between the hips and the ribs. It's a nice tall spine, not over engaged in the body, but just feeling that core, those legs engaged. So we've got a nice posture going on more than anything else. And then once you've done your 10 or three breaths there, we walk back round, finding our three or maybe two, our version of three, whatever that is. And when you move round, again, this is the deepest um, variation of all of those. So you'll feel different sensations on one side to the other, depending on what's going on. We're getting deep into connected tissues here. So for me on this left side, and the reason why I wanted to do it both sides is to describe a feeling I get when I do it on the left. I get a, a sensation which pulls from the middle finger through the wrist quite strong. So I don't feel so much in the shoulder on this three o'clock position on the left hand side, but I can feel really strong in the hand, the finger, and that's actually to do with um, an injury that I had where I fell off a horse when I was younger. So obviously there's some tightness there, in some um, tissues and some muscles, but it's a really good one to stretch that area out. But I'm getting pins and needles very quickly, so I might not necessarily hold that for the full 10. And then whenever you've got to that count that works for you, again, making sure the body is always facing forward, we let go of that arm, let it swing, and just let it sway. And then just pause there, close the eyes. By closing the eyes, it just allows you to switch up all the other senses for a moment and just feel into that arm. Maybe there's a flush of blood and energy, temperature change, tingling. Just really observe, take a moment to be silent and just feel into whatever you can feel in that left arm now. Slowly opening the eyes and take a couple of shoulder rolls. Come back to that wide leg, or not slightly wider than hip width. Just take a little sway, bouncing in the knees, nice and soft. And then find your way back to centre as we take an inhale. Sweep the arms up and over. Exhale, palms down through that centre point. Interlace the arms, push them away, draw the chin in. Rounding in the upper thoracic spine, feeling the space between the shoulder blades. Get a lovely stretch. Inhale, up and over. 
Take a little wiggle from side to side and then release the arms back down again. So there we go, just a little bit of a shoulder stretch, a really, really nice one to open up very tight shoulders or if you're particularly doing a lot of upper body work in whatever that is, whether that's in the gym, whether that's in a core chat, there's an upper body challenge, doing a lot of yoga, really lovely one. That you've got a wall pretty much everywhere in the house and you can do that. Only other one I want to just show you that you might find useful, but unfortunately I've got a wall behind me and not to the side of me that you can see. Actually, I can use over here. So if we come over to a wall, we take the hands into the wall, spread the fingers at about shoulder width distance. And then from there, we start to walk back, finding a sort of 90 degree angle as we drop the head down between the shoulders. This gets a little bit more into the underneath of the shoulders. And then we just hang there for a little bit, watching the neck. So if the neck is tight and sore, you might want to just keep the head in line with the um, uh, uh, arms. But otherwise, if it feels okay to let it go and just relax there. And try and bring those feet, I'm just looking at mine, they're a little bit probably too far back. And I just want to drop down. So you can get a nice chest opener as well as a shoulder stretch there as well. And it's a little sort of, bit of a nice sort of reversing a mini back bend for the upper thoracic spine that's quite tight most of the time or we do a lot of rounding in. So that's another one for you. Coming out of this, I want you to come out nice and slowly. So lifting up so that we don't get dizzy, coming up. And again, we get to the top, just shake out the arm, um, hands, the elbows, the shoulders, and maybe that little sway again, just releasing everything off. So a couple of little shoulder uh, exercises there or stretches for you. If you're feeling particularly tight, hopefully you found that really helpful. You choose the duration of breaths. I'm just giving you a suggestion of 10 and it might be that three is the perfect number for you because it might be particularly tight. Take care of any injuries and things that you're working with and don't try and match one side with the other. If you have a tighter shoulder, then we need to give it the time and the body, the muscles, the tissues, time to start to open. If you do this on a regular basis, say for example, like once a week at the end of the week, maybe after a lot of work, then what you'll find is it will naturally start to open and it's a really lovely way to get deeper into those shoulders, but never force listen to your body by feeling closing the eyes is a great way to do that and just never overstretch it's how we cause injury and if you know you're really really tight then maybe just do a couple of shoulder rolls bending at the elbows before you even come into that and maybe swaying like we did just to loosen off the muscles first if it's first thing in the morning maybe we're loosening and releasing off some fascia as well and then come into it because there's a quite strong uh, stretch so just be really careful guys hope that was useful and thanks for listening